think the, the challenge that the most advisors are having right now is there's a couple problems. Number one, we have to communicate faster and more intelligently than ever before. And I think the challenge we've seen is that there's so much inundation, not, from, not only from emails, but communication and noise out there, uh, that even our own advisors have had a challenge trying to give a coherent story to their customers. And so one of the things that we've been trying to address with Asset Map is how do we tell, how do I get everybody on the same page by talking about the facts and then applying the advisor's intelligence as opposed to strictly technology to that situation and build more of a relationship based upon what we think that they can do to help them or elevate their condition. Asset Map is all about cu cutting down everything that we do as advisors to a couple of different experiences. And probably the most prevalent is the fact that all advisors need to get facts from their clients. They need to take those facts and then they need to provide an intelligent reasoning as to why they should make certain changes. We call it fix or fill certain gaps and, and holes in the sort of household situation. But unless we can communicate to the customer where those gaps are and that help them understand their own positions, in fact, create a visual inventory of all of their financial uh, decisions and instruments, they very seldom can get connected to why they need to make certain changes. So Asset Map really is all about visualizing all the things that are going on in the household, who's important, and all the decisions they're currently making, and then what can we do to bring new solutions to the table to help elevate their condition. There are thousands of advisors now using Asset Map in the fields, and they have many different experiences and processes. Some work specifically in the insurance or investment area, some work in the tax, legal, or financial planning area, and they all use Asset Map differently. What we found is that, that but providing a consultative approach to any household where you talk about the facts and what really matters to them helps us uncover the real areas that we can help. And, and what, what's interesting about this is bringing different points of view to look at an asset map and see different areas to help somebody from that legal or tax or insurance or investment perspective is really critical to, to providing holistic advice. I think what we, we tend to see is most people approach a financial advisor because they have a specific concern or wound that's driving them to get there. Traditionally, people think about retirement or education funding as being really high priorities. When you look at an asset map, though, you very often see that there are structural problems. In fact, you see there's a significant amount of assets in one person's name versus another. There's clearly no insurances where there should be insurances, or those insurances are owned incorrectly. So I think one of the things we're seeing most often with asset map is that when you get the opportunity to look at your entire financial closet, you get to easily see the gaps. So for the most part, it's about uncovering opportunities to help them and then bringing smart ideas to the table that they can implement very quickly and put themselves in a better situation.